Yo, what's going on guys? It is Shady here back with another episode of The Road to Glory and today guys we have got a lot to talk about. So tonight 2K have actually updated the game, they've updated the Triple Threat Online uh, reward boards. Uh, they've got quite a lot of stuff on there now. I think there's uh, 15 tokens, like 25k MT, uh, there's loads of players as well, um, which I'm surprised they're not in the menu. Let's just refresh this and see if they show up. But I know there's Galaxy Opal, uh, Fred Van Vliet, there's Pink Diamond T-Mac, um, there's the All-Star Magic Johnson. So there's quite a lot on there. They haven't tweeted it out as of yet, um, but I imagine they will be on the boards until Sunday. They usually run it for the weekend. Um, so if you are on 2K this weekend, Triple Threat Online is a good thing to play. Let's have a look if it is on the banner, and it is not. So they still haven't actually communicated that they're on there, but... They are, so we might get into a game of that uh, later on in this video. If not, I'll probably play some um, and see if I can get any good pulls, and uh, we'll talk about them in tomorrow's video. Um, but for today, uh, where should we start? Let's start with uh, the main attraction of the video. We start with what's in the thumbnail and the title. One completed auction, and it is Galaxy Opal. Hakeem the Dream is being added to the squad. So you can see we've got him, and we've got 160k still sitting in the top right hand corner we've only got two auctions and that is two steph curries so uh, if you look back to yesterday's video we had about six or seven um of these guys up in auction and uh, even after that i went out and bought some couple more so we sold three steph curries we sold one for 62k one for 58 and one for 56 um then we picked up another ad we got for 26k which was so so cheap um, and we sold two ad's we sold one for 59 and one for 53 so we made a lot of MT um, and we picked up this Hakeem for 145k I'll put the bid at 150 and we get five uh, 6,000 MT back so welcome to the squad Hakeem um, and as you saw we did get him with a diamond contract as well um, which I actually think is a really really good deal so 145 with a diamond contract and he's selling for 170 without a diamond contract so we did really really well to get that Hakeem uh, when we did let's come down here and take a look at him and now we're already two away from completing this set which is fantastic and we have 166,000 MT in the bank so we should easily be able to get Lonzo at least um, there's one there for 158 if we're going to be on that I would definitely take that but we can't sadly I do definitely want to get one with a diamond contract like we've done with Hakeem like I will do with AD uh, because those three are the ones that are going to be seeing the most action Oscar Robertson not too fussed about he's not going to be seeing the floor a lot um, but with Zoe, I definitely want to get in with a diamond contract. And hopefully we can get him for the same price as Hakeem, about 150k. Um, so we're paying 300k between those two. Um, and then with those two Stephs selling, um, we should have about 100k left in the bank. Um, so we only need to get another 100k to pick up that Galaxy Opal AD. And we've still got all of our anniversary guys to sell, which is fantastic. So super, super pumped to add him into the squad. Let's go and put him in for cat and uh, there we go <laughs> that looks so good oh Hakeem what a card art that is uh, in terms of badges I think it is just limitless and deep range that we've got to add to him and I do have three of those um, of each of those so we'll add them to him now um, and uh, yeah now he's completely badged out pretty much there's no other ones you want to put on him the other ones are stuff like ankle break or, or um, tear I can't even remember what he doesn't have he doesn't have like some of the inside shooting ones, I think, that you put on a guy like a guard. Um, but he's got pretty much everything that you could want in a centre. Um, and he's got like 21 or 20 Hall of Fame badges, which is ridiculous. Um, and so I am more than happy to have this guy uh, leading my team at the centre position. 21 Hall of Fame badges, 9 gold badges. Uh, he doesn't have a diamond shoe because, in my opinion, he doesn't need one. Um, we can give him one for ball control and make him a speed boost. Uh, because with the coach, he will go up to 79. Uh, forget Sean in, we'll go up to 84. Um, and then, okay, maybe we'll put Sean in for acceleration. Uh, maybe a speed ball, but probably not. Probably just acceleration, because he already gets a speed boost with the coach, Mike D'Antoni. Uh, just do whatever you want. No, okay, we'll do that. Um, so there we go. The squad is starting to take shape. As you can see, I've already changed the bench around. We've got Oscar Robertson, JT, and Derek Coleman uh, off the bench now. Of course, Galaxy Opal... Uh, AD will be coming in for Giannis, uh, Giannis will move down to the bench in place of Derek Coleman and Zoe will come in for Hidu and Zoe will go to the 1, KD to the 3 and uh, that's pretty much going to be the team for the rest of the year unless of course they uh, eventually ever add, why is this stopped, uh, they eventually ever add someone to the Galaxy Opal token board I don't know why they haven't done it tonight um, and I don't know why they haven't uh, released the KG trailer either that's a little bit concerning, um, it does make me think 
that they're not going to drop in tomorrow, which would be super, super annoying. Um, I know that the prices of these guys has started to go up. So James Harden was selling for about 100k. He's up at like 130 now. Um, if we come to Series 2, we've got Kobe. Um, and there's only like four of him up because this one will have sold. Um, and then Shaq as well. Uh, not many of him up either. Um, and he's going for, look at that, over 100k already with an hour and a half to go. So I reckon we are going to be sitting with around 700k MT. So we'll probably get like... 500 600 out of all of these guys um, and then maybe 200 out of these guys so 700k after tax I reckon is a good estimate um, and that of course means we'll have plenty enough to get AD and have a lot of MT to spare so things are looking good um, we will keep looking for a Zoe uh, to pop up with a diamond contract that isn't going for a stupid amount um, and let's just have a little scroll here to see if we can find one because like I said the diamond contracts these days are selling for like 35 to 40k so it's definitely way more cost efficient to actually buy one with a contract on it already um, than to buy one without and then buy one and put it on yourself. That's really not a good way to go about doing your business. Um, same situation as Hakeem. I don't think he really needs a diamond shoe. Um, and if he does, it's only going to be a cheap one that I can buy it myself afterwards. And really, no one's put a diamond contract on this guy. There's one there with 43, which kind of tempts me. There's one there with two and a half hours to go. And you know what? We're just going to bid everything we have on him. Um, we'll keep ourselves 6MT, <laughs> we'll keep 6MT so we're not completely broke um, and tomorrow hopefully we'll have Galaxy Opal Lonzo in our squad um, and yeah like I said these two steps are the last ones we've got less to sell, fingers crossed they do um, and all of the jerseys have now sold so we're completely done, the club is completely empty, there's nothing left here, we've got a couple of badges and that is literally it, everything else has been sold. In terms of throwback elites, I've just got a couple of my favourite rubies. We've got Thumbmaker, Mo Bamba, Jonathan Isaac, and Darius Miles, and that is it. There is no one else in this club that I can sell, obviously, apart from the anniversary guys. We've got a couple more rubies down here, Thel Bailey, Rex Chapman. Um, we've got a Sapphire T-Mac, absolutely love that card. Um, and then we've got four of these throwback moments. Obviously, we've got Hidu there. And then we've got three rubies to Sean, Marcus Smart, and Gerald Green. So we've got some nice rubies that we have kept hold of. Um, but other than that, the club is absolutely empty. Um, and it's a good job it is, to be honest, because if I was trying to sell everything, obviously the auction house is still broken. Uh, this has been like 10 days now, probably, uh, maybe more than that, um, that it's been completely and utterly fucked. And uh, there's been nothing done about it. And there have been no more tweets about it. 2K Sport tweeted out four or five days ago now um, that they were going to be fixing or they were looking into the auction house issues. Uh, but there's been no update since then. There's been no official word on it. Um, and all they're doing is just releasing uh, locker codes. Oh, actually, we do have a locker code to put in today. Um, there's locker codes coming out and uh, obviously the additions to the triple threat online boards, which, again, nobody asked for. Nobody asked for that. Everyone just wants the servers to be fixed. Um, and like I said before, I wouldn't care if they just drop the servers for a couple of hours to make these changes that they have to do, but they won't because that will mean they would lose out on any potential people that would buy packs in that hour, um, so there's no way they'd do that, which is just ridiculous because the amount of people they're losing uh, from the game for doing this, all the new people coming into the game that have bought it for like $3, coming in and thinking, like, I can't buy anyone, like, everyone on the auction has just glitched, um, and they obviously don't know about the problems because 2K haven't tweeted about it on any official account. 2K Sport doesn't really count. They should have been tweeting about it from the official My Team one or the official 2K one. But of course, they'd never do that because that would look bad to all their advertisers and all of their influencers. But we did get this code yesterday. As you can see, we've got 20K in the corner, 5K next to it, um, and then 4K, 3.5K in the middle, and 2.5K as well. So fingers crossed we don't get 2.5K. That would be pretty shit. Um, and let's see what we get. If we do get 20k, that'd be pretty lit. Uh, we don't. We get 5k though. That's all right. I'll take 5k MT. Uh, I'm not going to cough at a sniff at that. Sorry. Uh, 5k MT. That's all right. We'll take it. Uh, it. Gives us a little bit more MT to play with as we go for this Zoe as well, uh, which is good. Um, so yeah, I was going to play some triple threat, but I just really don't want to play it. Like it doesn't interest me at all. I've never been heavy into triple threat online this year, um, and I just think of it as a way of their covering up. Uh, the mistakes that have been made and that still have not been rectified. Um, and the problem is, everyone now tonight is going to be making videos on that triple threat online. They're not going to care about the auction house. They're not going to mention about it. And that's exactly what 2K want to do. And that's exactly why they've done this. They know if they just put out content, people will forget about it. Especially the bigger YouTubers, because they don't really care about it. They don't have to care about it. They've got all the players. They can overpay for players um, on here. Like It doesn't matter about the price. So if you just wanted to buy a pink diamond 
James Harden. Let's go and have a look, because uh, I know he's got a couple of different versions. Uh, you come down here, and you do not have a clue what his price is. He could be 10k. He could be 10k, and you just don't know, because uh, all of these could be bought out, but you wouldn't know until you try, which is what is leading a lot of people to overpaying on things. The only way you can really know is by these open bids, um, but of course there's not many of them. Even though this guy's got three cards, three pink diamonds, there's only one on an open bid, um, it has got four cards, there's one in an open bid in the last hour, um, and if you don't know about that, then you're just going to be picking a random one, you're going to think if it's gone, or you might go through loads of them, and they're all gone, and you just keep going, keep going, and you end up overpaying massively for him, and uh, that's exactly what's happened with us selling these Steph Currys, like we've been buying them for like 35k on open bid, and then selling them off for like, there's no way that's a 79k bid, I was going to say, uh, and then selling them off for like 55 to 60k, just because people don't know. So like this 50k might be here, it might be gone. Uh, that 45k will definitely be gone. Um, this 60k might be there, it might be gone. You just don't know and that is so dumb. So there's one for 29k with an open bid. Um, and that is your best way of deciding uh, whether or not, uh, what a value a card has. But it's ridiculous and I really do think that sadly this is not going to get fixed. I think this is going to be it until the end of the game now. Um, and I don't think they're going to care about it, and I think as long as people just don't talk about it, which it doesn't seem like anyone is, uh, they'll just be happy for the problem to go away and just focus on 2K20, which is very, very sad. Even at this late stage of the game, we've still got the uh, Shaq to come out, which is obviously a big thing, um, and obviously the 3,000 tokens, that's also pretty big, so it's got a bit of life left in it, but they are really, really suffocating it at the moment, so fingers crossed tomorrow we do actually get this KG, fingers crossed tomorrow we get a fix to the auction house, um, but again, I definitely will not be holding my breath on that. But, oh well, we added Hakeem to the uh, to the squad today. Someone's already got 150k bid on this Lonzo. Like, damn, someone else really wants one with a diamond contract as well. So, fingers crossed we will have that for tomorrow as well. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.